When creating a collection of characters, it is very likely that many of them will look alike. We must take advantage of that. It is not about working harder, but smarter. So in this video, we will reuse our adorable toucan to create a lovely macaw. The first step is to spot the differences between the two birds. The main difference is the beak, right? Also the colors on the tail. Step 2. Go to the layers panel and duplicate them, my token layer, by sweeping left on the layer and then tapping on duplicate. Tap and hold the duplicated layer. And then drag it and release it just above the page 14 layer. The token character should appear on our current page. Lower its opacity until about 20%. There is not enough space for a longer tail. We need to make it smaller. Use the transform tool for that. Stop when you see there is enough space for the new features. And place it more or less in the middle of the drawing area. At this point, we are ready to start drawing our macaw so open the Layers panel and select the Draw Here layer. Turn on the Reference Companion window. And let's start by drawing the beak. It is much smaller, right? Don't forget to smile. We can place the eye here a little bit up. Or even duplicate the eye of the toucan and use it for the macaw as well. If you are not in a hurry, I recommend redrawing your character's eyes, so they are all different. Even if the difference is minimal, they will look better. Let's add eyelashes to this one. Be rebellious. Don't follow my instructions to the T. Add a little bit of your own style or preferences to each illustration. A little or a lot as you see fit, okay? This time I will make this part black without using the selection tool. It is going to be a little bit more complicated to paint only within the lines, but since this is just a sketch, not the final illustration, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Pick the eraser for the feathers. And now let's jump into drawing the face markings. These markings are not looking good to me. Let me erase them. Not with this brush, though. Let's pick the soft airbrush again. Okay, be careful with the marks around the eyes because they can be red as eyebrows. And if they go this way, our character may look angry or mad. Let's try these continuous lines for the body part. I am such a rebel. I am incapable of following my own instructions.
the macaw's wings look also longer than the toucan's, so let's draw this longer. Even when you know you won't see a part of something, like here, a part of this feather is behind of the branch, sketch it. Simply by drawing its basic shape will prevent the feather from looking crooked. In this case, I think we need to draw a small part of the other wing. Now let's focus on the tail. First, with light lines, marking the general shape of the tail. Then, a V-shape for the bend. Oh, I forgot to draw the other leg. Done. I am going to draw the branch. Draw it differently than the other, okay? Finish the tail. And we can turn off the visibility of the toucan layer by tapping on the little box with the tick. Let's zoom this out so we can compare both versions. By the way, we can erase the toucan layer by swiping left and tapping on delete. We no longer need it. Well, half of the wing is missing, so let's fix it. Add some feathers to the body. And let's also paint the big black. Let's add some highlights. And we are done. How are your characters going? Hope you are enjoying this course, but in case you are finding these exercises a little bit difficult, in the next video we will learn how to simplify the process a bit more.